All right, today we're talking about scales and uh, and how they express themselves all over the uh, the guitar fretboard. Um, I don't know where you're at. I, I remember, uh, in, and as I was a developing player in my teens, like back in the dinosaur era, um, I, I used to I used to listen and and pick up, uh, you know pick up a, a, a lick or a line or, or and, and then I'd figure out, oh, hey, hey, there, you know, there's, there's some consistency to this here. Like the, this seems to be happening over and over again. And, um, you know, and so I'd sort of figure out the fretboard by, well, by, um, by just, by just listening. But what ended up happening is I'd had gaps all over the fretboard because I didn't really understand how the whole fretboard fit together. Uh, although you know I sounded pretty good, uh, but uh, but there were there were holes in my in my understanding, and and that's what we want to do. We want to deal with filling up those holes, and uh, and also understanding what a scale is. So the first scale we're going to start with is you know the C major scale. Sorry, and uh, because it's like all the white notes on the on the piano keyboard, and it's easy to relate to. Um, so how do we how do we arrive at a scale? We arrive at a scale, a major scale, with these with these distances here of tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. Now um, uh, a tone is the distance of two frets, and a semitone is the distance of one fret. I can demonstrate that very easily, but let's pretend my instrument is only one string. I've got a one stringed instrument here. And uh, and I'm I'm just gonna and a one finger approach, right? So I'm gonna do um, a tone. A tone isn't just a note by itself. Remember, a tone is a distance. Okay, so tone, tone, semitone, tone, tone, semitone. So you can hear I just played a I just played a major scale. Uh, the question is, what kind of major scale was that? Well, I know what kind of major scale that was because I started on an E. That's all I need to know. It was a major scale. It was an E major scale because I started as uh, on the E, and I went through the um, the tone tone semitone tone 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 semitone to give me um, an E major scale. Right. Okay. Good. So, so that's that's you know basically the theory behind a major scale. You don't you know we don't need a bunch more than that. Remember tone tone semitone tone 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 semitone because that's going to apply to every major scale. Right. Okay. And we can play a major scale in an octave. <laughs> That means you know going from going from uh, uh, one C to the next C is an octave or eight notes, right? And uh, and obviously we can we can go all the way across you know as as high as we want to go, and and that is uh, is also going to be a C major scale. We don't just have to play it in octaves. As a matter of fact, uh, classical players tend to in their practice routines uh, tend to play their scales with. Um, you know, in two octaves or one octave or whatever the case is, or, you know, three octaves if, if you can in that specific scale. Uh, but, uh, uh, but as improvising guitar players, uh, we, we learn our scales in, um, in vertical, uh, vertical forms to begin with. Vertical meaning I, I take, I take all the notes available to me in a, in a single position, in this case in first position or what we call open position as well. Um, and, and, uh, so, and, and play all the notes vertically, um, every, every note that is, uh, that is available in that, in that position. All right, and we don't have to finish it off at an octave or, or anything, uh, anything else, okay. So let's move on. So here's a master fretboard. I'm sure you've seen these these before. A master fretboard is um, uh, is just is just simply uh, this master fretboard 
is just all of the natural notes everywhere they take place on the guitar fretboard. So it's it's like sitting down at a piano and having all the white notes in front of you. Now all you have to do is organize those white notes, right? And uh, <laughs> and get them in the right order. Um, but this is the place to start. The the place to start is knowing where uh, where the uh, the notes are on on the uh, on the guitar fretboard. Even if you don't at the beginning, I just want to I just want to uh, uh, really um, focus on the importance of of seeing it this way because when you see it this way, all the 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 the, the other variable here is where you put your hand, and so and so if I if I know these notes and where these notes are and I put my hand here. I'll play the notes that are available to me in that in that position, right? And if I move up the fretboard, I'll play the notes that are available in that position and, and so on. So it's 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 a difference of emphasis between between having a, a you know a, a finger pattern and 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 seeing it instead on the guitar fretboard and the fingering being a necessary aspect of, of playing the right notes, if you get my drift. Okay, so let's, um, let's just move to, to uh, positions. You know, when we, when we say something is in a, a position, um, all we mean is, where is my first finger? Now, it's been the same nomenclature, same language for 200 years and a bit more. If I have my first finger here, it means I'm in first position. If I have my first finger here, it means I'm in second position. There is no arbitrary um, system that says, you know, this is this is this scale, and so therefore it's the it's the second position scale. You know, it's not like that. It's just it's just where my hand is positioned on the fretboard, right? Fifth position, second position, first position, and so on, right? Okay, and um, stretch, you know, we'll have shifts and we'll have stretches. Uh, a stretch is, is, as you can see here in this diagram, you know, your, your first finger goes, goes, a, goes a, a fret further. And that is sometimes necessary to get uh, uh, to, play, to play the positions as they, as they lie on, on the fretboard. All right. So here is the the next page, and and this should be a really uh, clear indication as to what we've uh, uh, what we've just been discussing. Here are all the notes on the guitar fretboard. Here's my first position of a C major scale, which I've which I've already played a couple of times. Uh, so the first thing you do is put your hand down in position. <laughs> practice and play the scale vertically. Always start on the root note or the tonal center. Root note meaning C, right? If you don't start on C, you're going to start confusing your ears because every time you start on a different note, if you start on, on, on a different note in the scale, you're going to impl be implying a different scale. So don't do that. The root note is essential in in all of your in all of your scale practice. So you hear those degrees uh, and those distances of of tone tone semitone tone 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 semitone the way they they should be heard. And with it, with each uh, scale, you should you should play uh, the uh, the tonal one chord. <laughs> that all right so uh, that was uh, that was a little bit of background in terms of how scales work and and what scales are and how to get them to the guitar fretboard the next video we'll do we'll we'll take these uh, across the entire fretboard and uh, these and, and and fill up the whole fretboard with sensible scale forms that you can use and, and build a system that, uh, that you can, uh, yes, use, but also practice and understand. All right, so that was it for, for this little bit. Um, this all comes from a book that I, that I wrote a few years back now, more than I'd like to remember. 
Uh, and it's really practical, and I know many, many, many people have used it, and it 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 works. It it you know it's not just a whole bunch of crazy information that'll get you nowhere. You could start at the beginning of this book and you go to the end of the book, and it's not really a terribly long, and you will get how the guitar works, right? If that's important to you, and if you don't want to waste hundreds of hours of your time, get this book. And uh, you can get it on Amazon. All right, Guitar Scales, Practical Guide to Understanding the Guitar Fretboard. So there you go. Um, if this video was a help to you, cool. Um, uh, then, uh, then let us know that by subscribing or uh, by giving us a like. And also comments, you know, are really important to us. We like to hear from guitar players uh, because uh, that's what this is all about, isn't it? All right, so... Thanks a lot for dropping by. We're going to see you in the next lesson when we cover all of the positions of the C major scale on the guitar fretboard.